The Intertropical Convergence Zone, often abbreviated as the ITCZ, is one of the most critical components of our planet's weather and climate systems. It is a belt of low pressure that circles the Earth near the equator, where the trade winds from both hemispheres meet. These converging winds create a region of intense upward motion, leading to the formation of towering clouds and frequent thunderstorms. The ITCZ is essentially Earth's atmospheric powerhouse, driven by solar energy. At the equator, the sun's rays are most direct, heating the surface and causing warm, moist air to rise. This rising air cools and condenses, forming clouds. As the air reaches higher altitudes, it spreads out and eventually sinks in the subtropics, creating a cycle known as the Hadley cell. The ITCZ marks the ascending branch of this cycle. While its position is centered around the equator, the ITCZ doesn't stay static. It shifts with the seasons, moving northward during the northern hemisphere's summer and southward during its winter. This movement follows the sun's zenith point and is influenced by the distribution of land and ocean. Over land, where heating is more intense, the ITCZ tends to shift more dramatically, while over the oceans, its movements are more subdued. The ITCZ profoundly influences global and regional climates. Its shifting position dictates the timing and intensity of wet and dry seasons in tropical regions. For example, in Africa, it brings monsoon rains to countries like Nigeria and Cameroon during its northward shift, while areas south of the equator experience dry conditions. In South Asia, the ITCZ plays a pivotal role in the Indian monsoon, as its northward movement pulls moist air from the ocean onto the land. Weather within the ITCZ can be extreme. It's known for producing heavy rainfall, severe thunderstorms, and even tropical cyclones when conditions are right. The area is often referred to as the doldrums by sailors because the winds within the ITCZ can be erratic, alternating between dead calm and sudden squalls, making navigation tricky. There are some variations in how the ITCZ behaves. Over the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, it tends to form a single band of clouds. However, in the Indian Ocean, its behavior is more complex due to interactions with the monsoon systems and the Indian Ocean Dipole. The importance of the ITCZ cannot be overstated. It's a vital component of the planet's heat and moisture redistribution, connecting weather systems across the globe. Changes in its behavior, such as a shift in its usual position or intensity, can have far-reaching impacts, including droughts, floods, and disruptions to agriculture and water supplies. Understanding the ITCZ is crucial for forecasting weather and studying climate change. By monitoring its movements and interactions with other atmospheric systems, meteorologists can predict seasonal rainfall patterns and prepare for extreme weather events. It's a reminder of how interconnected our planet's systems are and how small changes in one region can ripple across the globe.